There are so many ways you can preserve your art, and today we are learning about resin. Yes, artist Kate McClure is here to show us how she utilizes resin on her own canvas. It's so beautiful one that she brought in today. And yeah, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. So what exactly is resin and what's the purpose of it? Yeah, so resin is like a clear gloss that you can put on lots of different things. A lot of artists love to use it, but you can do jewelry or some people do like countertops in their homes. And it just cures and dries and makes a really nice glossy surface. Yeah, can we see this picture is just, <laughs> I mean, it, the gloss, I feel like makes it. Yes. Right? Yeah, I mean, it just makes like, it pop. Yeah, it, it provides a nice protection too for canvases and um, really brings out the colors. Yeah, because when you spend so much time making something like that, you want to protect it. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. So this is, it sounds easy, but that's because you've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> well, it actually is easy. It looks scarier than it is. Okay. Well, how is it done? We, we started unwrapping yes. this so that it yes. wouldn't uh, drip <laughs> on the table. So yeah, so basically what you want to do to get started is um, you want to set up your canvas so that it's not touching the surface because the resin does drip down and it can just stick to it. Those cones are so cute. Yeah, I got these on Amazon. They're just okay. little like lifts um, for the canvas. And then you have your, basically it's just two parts. So you have your resin and your hardener and um, you mix them together in equal ratio. So yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Okay, okay yeah, are we sure? ready? Yeah. Okay. So you know, have to know the size of your canvas. This is an eight by 10. And so this is going to require three ounces total. Okay. Um, so since it's equal parts, what I do a lot of times is just go ahead and mix it um, in even number. So like I'll just go ahead and do two ounces of each instead of an ounce and a half. Okay. okay. Just because it's easier mm -hmm. with the mixing cups. So you just want to do pour them both together. And do they mix by themselves, or do you also have to take a stick in so and kind of like? Mix it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you have to mix it yourself. Um, you want to make sure it mixes really well because it won't cure if it doesn't. Oh, I'm sure you found that out the hard way. Yes, I have. <laughs> and then once that happens, there's really not a lot you can do. Um, but you want to mix it around and... And is it kind of ready to go right afterwards or do you have to is. let it sit? Okay. Yeah, so it's, the good thing about resin is it's pretty forgiving. So you have about 30 to 45 minutes before it really starts to cure. Okay. And, and then you can um, really, you know, work out any mistakes or anything you might have. Okay. Um, so you just mix this and it takes about a minute. It's just constant stirring. Okay, and you're wearing gloves. Is that yeah. an important part so too? It is because the resin is sticky. It'll get on your hands and it's just a little hard to get off. Okay. Yeah, we've all done that. Like a project oh, yeah. or something <laughs> that we're like, what yeah. did we do that? Yeah, exactly. You just want to protect yourself when you can. It's not toxic or anything. Um, so it's like a really pretty safe and just a fun thing to do to give your art a nice finish. Yeah, I love this. Is there yeah. anything else that people can use that for on different items or things in their home? Yeah, so a lot of people put it on countertops, um, like wood, it looks great on wood. Um, I think you can do pretty much anything. I've only ever used it for canvases. Okay. But so you would pour that. Yes. And then you would use this, which we're not going to use in our beautiful studio. Right. And that <laughs> is what? So that's a, a torch. You can also use a heat gun. But what, the, what happens is bubbles are created as you're stirring it, and you just want to blast them out so that they're not in the finished piece. Okay. Yeah.